Hey YouTube, Mike here. How we all doing? I hope we're uh, all safe and secure at your um, homes and businesses and jobs. Um, I know it's it's getting crazy out there with this virus. Um, I, I, we've been working pretty much non-stop. Uh, it came out that hot you know heat and hot water um, kills this virus uh, people are told to put their washing machines on hot wash make sure it's hot water so of course everyone um, has been calling about having their tanklesses checked that's that's why I'm, <laughs> I forgot to take my shirt off today um, the, I have serviced more tanklesses in the past two or so weeks service repair install um, then I, I can't even look at. It. Oh my God, uh, it's just a, a lot of a lot of a lot of panicking out there. So you know, just keep your head and and um, just you know listen. Like I said before, listen to the the doctors and listen to the scientists. All right, because I honestly the media is really going crazy with this thing, and that's really all I'm gonna go from there. I think you know what my stance is with um, what's going on here. So. Um, all right, on to bigger and better things here. Okay, I received in the mail, um, I've been trying to grab these pack out uh, toolboxes, the 4822-8422. And again, they um, like the rigid threading machine, excuse me, the Milwaukee threading machine. It appears that they, I guess, underestimated the sale um, of them and a lot of places are out. Um, Home Depot didn't stock them. Um, I, when I go there, I asked the manager if you know he can get them in. He didn't know. So what I ended up doing was I found them on the tool nut. The, um, the company out of New York that I used to purchase a lot of stuff. I haven't bought a lot of stuff from them in a while. But they had them. And I wanted a set of two. And this is how it came. It actually comes from Milwaukee. Um, in the box and it says right there um two pack um it just got delivered um to my house um so all right let's um let's go over it i set one of them up already um uh, another one is is bare so what we'll do is i'll show you what's inside of it this is the one that we set up okay it's got one locking handle and it's got a hinge on the back it has a collapsible pretty sturdy handle that collapses down so you can actually put another pack out on top of it. The um, uh, lock, it's got the a little lock if you want to lock the box. And then inside of it has a removable tray and actually you can get your hand in here. So in this part of it, as you can see, how you can grab the tray. You got the, a large compartment and then you have two three, four, five small compartments. And it fits into the box any way you want to put it in there. So however you feel comfortable to grab it, you can grab it. Again, it's got um, an, a large O-ring in here to make it watertight. And then it has six compartments that come, and we'll, we'll open this box, they come uh, separately, they, you know, inside, in a plastic bag, you to assemble them. So let's go into this one and then we'll go and start putting some of these together. So with the, you know, you get your little Milwaukee catalog and then you get the plastic. So item number 746762 and you have four slots and one large slot. So it comes with, let's open it up. It comes with one large divider and it comes with four small dividers. Now, they ha it has to go in, it, it's, it's kind of not reversible, like my raincoat. What movie? Um, if you look inside the box, you have a long side with nothing, then you have this side that has the hump in it for the mechanism. So if you see inside the box, you see the hump down there? If you look at this, you have the cutout, and then you have a long side. So basically, it's gonna go in, it's a little 
hard to do it like this, but it's, it's going to go in just like that. And then these pieces, you're going to have, you have a little, a thinner side that has a little a tab and then a flat side. The flat side goes towards the front piece. So here, let's put this in. Tricky at first to get them in. Hmm. Yeah, that's how. Tab towards the uh, runner. I think I said it wrong. The tab, this tab here, goes in towards that long runner, the divider that divides the box in half. So just like that, and then down. And then, there's a little, little extra flash on this. This piece. And then the last one to divide it up down. So there you go. There's your four dividers. So the tab goes down the long runner and then the short side which has a notch in it. You can not that easy. There you go. You can remove them. So you see you have kind of like a thick side and a thinner side. But just the tab goes towards the uh, divider. And then back in it's comfortable for me. All right, now, so it's a half, it's a half a pack out. Two of them together is a large pack out. So we have, we got some small halves. They can lock into the top. You can open the box with whatever on top that you want. Now here's a full size half. And again, you can open the box. But to keep it balanced better, you can mount these. And then, now you see, when you put something on top, of course, as you can see, you're losing the handle. So now you have, you can carry some parts and your tools. Now, Here's, here's a, 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 a small one, but a full size. <laughs> so, you know, even though this is thinner, this is still the same dimensions as all the pack outs. So if you want to, you can now put two right on the top of your pack out system. And you could still access the handles if you want to. You could still put more on top open up get to whatever you need and then carry them and then remove them Put one on top. And remove. Pretty cool. Pretty neat. I thought they were. I think these are probably one of the best pack outs. When I seen them and think what we could put in here and what we could use to go in, um, we could fill these up with those open off fittings when we go to do water piping, like a bathroom. We could put half inch and three quarter. And all the and rings, so we can put all the fittings. Because you know, with the Supernor system, it's elbows, couplings, T's, and uh, well, it's a plug for testing. And then the rings in here, fittings in here, and we have. I converted one of these 
um, you know, one of these here, you know, which I have all in my truck. I converted, you know, and put the, um, yeah, Kaizen insert, Kaizen foam, my open oil machines on that. So I can actually put um, a large pack out, say what, what we have, I have one of these, but the bigger one, with straps like half and three quarter straps, nail straps, two hole straps on the bottom. And then I can put the open oil machine on the top. We can put it on a hand truck and carry it in. And it's just four things is the whole system. We don't have to carry, you know, the, but you know, that's just for doing a job. That's what I kind of envision us using it for. Um, Cause right now our pack out system in our truck is pretty tall. Pretty tall. As a matter of fact, um, yeah, I gotta go get the key. Um, <clears throat> since we're on uh, lockdown, stay at home, uh, uh, and we are an essential business, I figured I'd leave my truck here from now on. I gotta go with my wife later and pick up my pickup truck, which is at my shop, and j and g cram my driveway. So my work truck, which usually comes home you know, during the, during the week. Now it's gonna stay here for the 30 days and I just go out in the truck because there's no question with the plumber. You know, cause where uh, wastewater and water is one essential and then we're natural and propane, which is another essential. So, but uh, you know, people, it's just unbelievable. I mean, we, we leave yesterday at, you know, uh, what do we leave at uh, six o'clock in the morning and we, you know, there's very little cars on the street. We leave the shop to go to the uh, go to our first job, and there's like more cars on the street than normal. So I'm like, you know, what, what kind of stay-at-home thing is this? Uh, I just don't understand. They're looking to the petition to open up the beaches again here. Uh, golf courses are still open. I've seen a ton of guys towing boats. So uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But you know, just like I said, listen to the scientists, listen to the doctors. And I think you'll be pretty cool with that. Alrighty. Oh, um, I mean, what I if I'm not working here in the shop or not, like I said, we're pretty much just, you know, today I had early this morning I had to go do two services on tanklesses. Um, we installed a bunch of them, so um, I was able to. Uh, I've been doing the uh, models inside, and as a matter of fact, this is my new project that I'm doing right now. Look at the size of this thing. It's 160th scale. There's not, this is empty. This is, I don't know if I want to throw the box out, but that is what it actually comes with. It's almost like a whole scene of this thing inside of a hangar. And I built, you know, I built like modular stuff like this for my, my hobby table. And I needed a thing to keep what they call the sprues and if you're familiar with modeling it's what the pieces come on the plastic you cut them off so and then and they're numbered they'll excuse me they're lettered you know a b c d so i have i have it built up to i have a about three feet long three modulars that are 12 by 12 uh six inches deep and i p touched a b c d e f g h i j k l m o p q r i think up to r well this thing passes Z and has others. So this is what, I, what I'm talking about, is what I just drew together. Uh, two inches apart, um, but some of these are so large that they're bigger than 12 inches. So I had to make this, I made this in here 13 and a half inches tall, and they stick out more than the six inches, so I made it six and three quarters, so that it gets tucked in here um, and now I'm just going to place this on the side. I'll put all the extra stuff in here. I'll p-touch what it what it is, and then it's just easier to grab the stuff. You just look over, know your alphabet, A, B, C, you know, M, and then um, it's got like uh, what did they have? It had a oh, it had like a Z X, and then a Z one and a Z two. It's just so big and so many pieces. I just needed to make something. Um, another one of these modules so so that's that all right YouTube um, I'm gonna try to get videos out um, I'll try to make them you know during the days when I'm free here 
you know, because a lot of times we do come home. Oh, my my daughter, <coughs> she's who's my secretary. She's now working from uh, her house. She took all the stuff, the laptop, everything, and she can do everything from from her house. And we just load up the truck. And my worker happens to live in the community, so he sh comes here, parks. So we just come here and just stay, and we'll get a call through my cell phone from my daughter if we have to go somewhere, and then we just go, or we just stay out on the road, and you know, uh, I'm just sick of pizza and McDonald's. That's all we've been eating, and I was like, man, I hope I hope the food places are open because you know, what are we gonna eat? And I hate for my wife to go, you know, to the, 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 the grocery store. She goes in and she just runs through the place. And then I have my mother, who's 88, who's pretty much stuck. I mean, she's in good health, but, you know, I just went there this morning to drop her off some bagels and um, a case of water. And I had to get her some batteries and stuff and um, just, you know, had a cup of coffee with her. And, you know, she's like freaking out in there. She's in very good health, and but... You know, she, they don't understand what's going on. They never, you know, if, unless you live through the, 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 what is that, the Spanish flu, um, you don't understand, you know, what's going on. And, you know, she's not that old. <laughs> like I said, I think she's 88. So, uh, um, I mean, we, we even, we're doing an, an emergency. It's actually a hurricane building for FPL. We did the sewer. We did the water and the plumber that was supposed to do the inside of the building for the company. And this is like a big poured concrete, prefabbed, steel reinforced building that's supposed to um, take a category four hurricane. And they rushed this building in so that they can, they use it as like a command post. The plumber comes from California, California, Florida, I said, what the hell is his trip charge to come? Well, it's a, the plumber for the company that manufactures these things. And he can't make it. So I get a phone call from the contractor that I was doing the work for. He's like, Mike, can you come and, you know, do the, 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 the rough and the top out and the setting of the fixtures? And this building, um, two weeks, done, it's going to be done. So... We just laid the sewer, we laid the water, we got it all in, we, and we got all the pipes up in where they told us so that the building was lowered down with a crane. And now we gotta go in Monday and we gotta do the whole, what they call rough and top out, test it, and then by Wednesday we'll be setting fixtures. It's all pre, like all the walls are a laminate. Um, it, it's just, it's an amazing piece of uh, structure. Uh, for for what I, 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 I say and and for two weeks it's done it's gonna be done so but that's that um, like I said I gotta get my pickup get my wife's car in here so I gotta try to get this far in jam this driveway because I have to be able to keep my truck because I really you know if I gotta leave at two in the morning to go somewhere which I've been doing one o'clock two four o'clock in the morning I, I don't want to stop moving cars I just want to get my work clothes, get my truck, and go, and then get back. Um, so I really don't want to start moving cars, and I don't want to leave my pickup truck by my shop. Um, it's gonna be, it'll be there for you know like 30 days. So I'm gonna go later and see what we could squeeze in the driveway here. I think we could fit it. Um, so that's that. All right, YouTube. Enough of my ranting. Um, I'm just so pissed off. I'm just so so pissed off with this. Um, this is really bothering me. And another thing too, you know, when I was a fireman and I was a chief, you know, I feel so like helpless now that I'm just a civilian. Uh, that's another thing. You know, we, this is like I feel worse than 9/11 for what happened during 9/11 and what went transpired after that. I, it's Tops 9/11. I mean, by far. Um, what's going on here? Um, I just. I'm glad I'm. I'm here in the South now. <laughs> you know, um, people. Uh, you know, they're they're doing what they're supposed to. For what I could see, like our supply houses, we have to. Um, we have to. I get. We get there at like 6:30 in the morning, and they have 
they have the bay open, they have tape, and barricades, and a table, and then all sanitizer and stuff. And you walk up, and he's 12 feet back, one of the guys, and what do you need? Or you gotta call it in, but it's pretty much impossible. Or you gotta email it, but you email it to the main head main place, and then they send it, and it takes a while. If I, I, I gotta run in there for a, a bag of half-inch elbows, I, I can't wait an hour and a half. I gotta get back onto the job. So we get there early, he takes the order down, then he goes in, he picks everything out, and he basically like wink, slides it across the table at you. Um, you don't even sign nothing no more. Uh, you just, you know, uh, you just, you just, they'll, whatever, somehow get us our thing back. Uh, just the end of the month, hopefully they'll, you know, email me what, <laughs> you know, what my total is so I can pay the bill. Um, but yeah, and material too. Uh, went to go get a 50 gallon electric water heater. He said, no, we don't have them. I said, all right, yeah, how about Jacksonville? You know, they, got this, they just built this massive, uh, like half million square foot warehouse. And they're like, no, we, we, we don't have any. Uh, I'm like, what's up? He goes, well, you know, it, the trucks are doing other things and you know, certain things are just not getting there in the amount of time. And they have a massive warehouse in what they call Frostproof, Florida, and they don't have anything. The only thing is Renai. Renai is really, you know, they're pumping stuff out. They got a massive amount of stock in Peachtree. Um, I have a large amount of parts, so I'm pretty good with it. And um, they have a large amount of parts. The, the dealer that we have to usually get the parts at in Jacksonville, he's low on parts. But because I do the videos and stuff, I can actually call the general manager directly who's in charge of parts and they just overnight it to my house. So at least I have um, a way of getting parts and um, I've used a lot of parts so far. Like I said, in two and a half weeks, I have done, like I'm sick of looking at them when I tankless. Oh my God. Um, but. You know, the commercial stuff like my restaurants and hotels, nobody's, uh, you know, they're, they're vacant. And the jobs we were supposed to do, the banks denied them loans because of this. So we had one hotel, we were supposed to repipe the whole hotel. We were supposed to start it two weeks ago. He only can get 50% of the money. The bank said, no, we're waiting. So I could see, you know, with, you know I could see it. But um, thank God, because I don't think I would have been able to do the rest of the stuff that I have. Um, they just, I mean, and then and the Renai guy, you know, those that you follow me on the Renai guy, um, I have had probably 125 phone calls. So I mean, well, not phone calls, I've talked to, but you know, they either get me through a, a you know, a, a comment or I put my email like I do here. And they email me and then I tell them to call me at a certain time. I've had like 125, maybe even more. I keep a record of, of who I talk to. One night I did like seven phone calls. Just they just want to know how to how to service, what they should do, if they should raise the temperature. They hear us in the noise now, so that's what was going on. So, all right, YouTube. Uh, again, thank you very much for all of the uh, all the new subscribes. I'm getting clo closing on 12,000. 12, um, uh, before you know it, I'll be giving something else away. Uh, thank you for the, all the comments and the, to keep those questions coming. Email me. My email is below. If you want a Mike Woodshop sticker, um, I just like a month ago I just got another like thousand stickers. So um, we uh, and we haven't done anything. I know I mentioned to you that we were going to redo the, the shirts and I was going to sell them and and the um, I was going to redo kind of like the sticker. But my daughter, who's the editor, she got a, a big promotion at work. And of course now she's, you know, working from home and I don't want any, none of my daughters to really leave now that my daughter here has gone to work at her house. Um, so, uh, I think right now that's the least of my, our worries is t-shirts and uh, stickers. So I ordered a, another, like I think either 500 or 1,000 stickers, I forget, because I had to get some new economy shirts. So I got some stickers and, you know, I've been sending them out. And, you know, if you have a question, just email it to me and I'll get back to you or we'll talk. And we'll go over it and all. So, um, 
And I think, you know, if, if I have some free time, I'm going to, I got to get this RC toolbox. So I think I'm going to probably maybe redo part of this, get this red toolbox out, build, you know, take some, most of these out and put them over there. And then I can put that toolbox in this place just to get it out of here. Because this thing is bugging the crap out of it um, with, you know, this thing here. But I don't know, maybe I should have never bought it and just kept the stuff on a shelf. All right, YouTube. Again, thank you for all the likes, all the comments, all the subscribes, all the questions. And um, you all be safe out there. Uh, take care of yourselves. And um, I'll see you on the, the next video. All right. Take care now. Bye-bye.